Uh, you're most welcome again to tabitalks.com and today we're going to look at the parts of a computer system uh, so as you see in the diagram here uh, we have uh, our computer system and we have different uh, parts that make up a computer uh, so to start with uh, we are going to start with the cpu as you see here uh, this is the cpu uh, CPU is the central uh, processing unit. So what does this do? Uh, the CPU, known, which is also known as uh, the brain of a computer, is responsible for executing instruction and performing mathematical operations. Uh, normally, uh, we say the CPU, it is known as the brain of the computer. And the, what do, it does inside the computer it is uh, used for performing uh, different mathematical operations and executing different opera uh, instructions and other operations. So that's what the work of the CPU. And then we have the, the motherboard. Yeah, of course, uh, the motherboard. Uh, the motherboard is the main circuit board in the computer and to provide communication path between different components. Uh, it provides the communication uh, or enables communication uh, uh, between different other components inside the computer. Uh, then we have the hard disk, uh, the hard, which is also known as the hard drive. The hard drive is used for uh, storage. Uh, this is a, stor a stored state drive uh, that is used to store data and programs permanently, even when the computer is turned off. So uh, when you're done with uh, data processing, of course, you have uh, to you need to store data either in primary or secondary storage. And one of the storage device we have is the hard drive, and this can store data permanently. Yeah, even when the power is off. And then we have the the other part is called the the the, the RAM modules. Uh, the RAM modules we have. Uh, the these are the memory chips, uh, which are also used to store data temporarily. Uh, that is being used like when you are uh, doing your work, when you are uh, processing work. So the work is temporarily stored in in RAM. That's the random access memory, uh, so that it can easily be accessed when the user wants it. And then the other part is called the what? Uh, the power supply. Yeah, the power supply, of course, uh, from the word power, you understand that uh, power supply is, it, it helps to provide power to different components of a computer system. Yeah, when you are working with a computer, of course, a computer needs power. And because all these components, the basic, the basic input output system, that is the input devices, output devices and processing devices, they all or they all function with with the uh, power. They cannot work without power. So we need to have a power supply. We need to have a power source whereby uh whereby we can be able to have uh power on in all these parts so that they can function well. And then the other part is called the uh, system fan. Uh, the system fan is also very important. Uh, because uh, you know very well computers uh, produce heat and the, because of that uh, we need something to cool uh, the system inside. So uh, the, first of all this fan provides cooling and the, uh, the cooling is done uh, when the, the circuit like the motherboard is hot, the CPU is very hot. So when that one is done or when the these main parts are very hot uh, due to uh, power entering, then that's where the system fan comes in to provide the cooling. And then we have the heat sink. Uh, heat sink, as you see here, uh, the heat sink is uh, also very important because uh, uh, the computer is used and the the computer chips are overclocked and the and the significant heat is produced. So when the power 
amplifier in the power transistor is produced, then this can lead to leakage and the current. So that's why we have the a heat sink to like uh it helps to uh uh to and enable to modulate the operational temperature. Yeah. And uh, then you have optical drives, uh, the optical drives, uh, these are uh, uh, computer system that allow users to use DVDs uh, and CD, uh, CDs and the Blu-ray optical uh, drives. Uh, these are some, uh, this one contains some lenses that provide electromagnetic waves that are responsible for reading and writing data on optical disks. So of course, if you are dealing with multimedia data, you need to know that one of the devices you need is the the uh, DVDs and CDs. So uh, you need this uh, uh, optical drive to enable you to read the uh, these uh, drives so that this uh, this so that you can enable or you can be able to manipulate uh, this multimedia data. Then the other one we we have the floppy disk. Yeah, for those who never had to use one, like, because now in the current uh, modern computers, uh, uh, the floppy disks are less used, but in the earlier versions, of course, we uh, highly depended on floppy disks. And the, so, uh, however, sometimes up now, some are still in use, but they are, they are being isolated for more than 30 years. And this uh, floppy disk, is a diskette uh, type of this, uh, which is uh, also used for storage and is composed of a thin and flexible disk of a magnetic storage medium in a sphere or a nearly sphere plastic enclosure lined within the, the, the film. So normally uh, the floppy disk uh, was used uh, as a medium of storage uh, 30 years back. So, but as uh, computers went on, uh, Upgrading right now it is less used. Uh, it is being wiped out because of other modern storage devices which are coming up. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, these are the few parts of the uh, computer system. Of course, uh, maybe we are going to look at in detail like uh, what is makes up a motherboard, uh, what makes up a CPU, uh, how is, does the RAM work. Uh, how is the, the hard disk uh, structured and what are those other components of the parts of the hard drive. So we are going to look into details more about this, but for now, I uh, want to say that these have been the parts of the main components of a computer system. So in the next video, we are going to be describing one by one and we see how best we can understand it. Thank you. Uh, keep uh, following us on tabitalks.com and uh, subscribe and share our videos uh, so that we can uh, be on the same page. Thank you.